Hey, Zach, this is Keaton with ABC going over your pitching video from camp. We're going to go through and, and look at a couple key spots in your delivery. We're going to look at um, how you're starting, you know, are you set up, are you balanced, are you in a position that you're going to be able to consistently repeat your mechanics. Then we're going to look at what your lower half's doing. You know, the lower half is a big key to pitching. That's where the power is generated, that's where the velocity is going to come from, and that's just the, the building block of, of mechanics and velocity is using that lower half. So we're going to look at what what that's doing. Then we're going to look at your foot strike. And that's called, that's basically when that left foot, when you bring it up and when that left foot first touches the ground, we're going to look at that position because there's a couple of things that, that we need to look for and and um, and get right to help us get in a nice healthy position to throw the ball um, to, you know, to, to generate as much force and torque that we can. And then lastly, we're going to look at um, how you're finishing, so, you, uh, you know, where you're releasing the ball, um, and just if you're getting out over that front foot, so, so, you know, pitching, first and foremost, pitching is a very complex movement, it takes a lot of skill, a lot of coordination, a lot of strength, so a lot of what we're going to do is, uh, talk about is going to be tough for you to perform now, but if you are aware of it and, and work on it, you know, when you do start getting stronger, it's going to be something that, that'll come a lot easier for you, all right, um, and basically with you, the biggest thing with you is to get more lower body involvement. Is we gotta start getting you more dynamic. We gotta start get you quicker and driving your hips close farther down the mound longer. And I'll <clears throat> go and, and talk to you a little bit more about that in in depth. Alright, so right off the bat we're gonna look at your setup. Okay? So you're coming set with your with your glove up high, which is fine for you, alright? Because if you watch here you're going to see that, that your hand doesn't really drop down, which is fine, all right? That's just kind of your, your natural position there. Usually a lot, most of the guys kind of drop their hands down, but you just come straight out, so that's fine to, to keep your hands up there. All right, the biggest thing with you is, is you're coming up t to a point, and you're nice and balanced, all right? A lot of times you see kids kind of start rushing once that knee gets up there, all right? So once that knee gets up there, we want to keep this angle kind of tough to see where your knee is because you have black pants on. But we want to try to keep this angle and drive these hips forward right off the bat. All right. You watch here as you step frame by frame, you'll see this foot and this knee start getting out. Oops, don't want the arrow. You'll see this knee and foot start getting outside of that hip. All right. In this position, we want to still see that, that knee still closed off um, and that foot behind that knee even all the way out to here, you know, it's, it's still closed off a little bit right here. You know, it might maybe be straight here. But we just want to make sure that, that this leg doesn't lead our, our body. You know, we don't want this leg to lead our mechanics. We want these hips to lead everything. We want them to stay closed as long as we can, you know, so that front leg's not even popping open until maybe even down here. You know, now that leg's starting to pop open, you know, somewhere around here, so you're just storing up more energy in those hips um, to generate more power and, and speed and torque down below. All right, so that's just uh, that'll be a big thing. Is just you know come up, come set. You know if you're doing a drill, just hold this position and then just feel yourself drive that hip, drive that back pocket down the hill instead of letting that left foot kind of lead and pop open. All right, and another thing that's going to do is is because you're you're not driving those hips down, you're going to see that at foot strike right here, um, you know, there's there's a little bit of your open. So you're just popping that leg open and you're just losing energy in these hips, okay? Your arm's actually in a really good position right here, all right? This is a, a good spot for your arm to be in. A lot of times if we see it in here or you see that elbow down below, you know, that that's puts yourself in a risky position for injury. So you have a, you have a good good spot with, with your arm right here, so that's, that's good to see. Uh, your body's staying back over that back side, which is, which is awesome too, and now it's just a matter of, of keeping those hips closed longer farther down the hill, um, and that's going to help you out a lot, uh, all right? So that's, that's your foot strike. And then through your release, another thing you're doing well is this is a pretty solid position for release. Your back foot's turned all the way over. You have a nice angle. You know, the, the more that you're going to be able to utilize your hip, and the more speed you're going to be getting and more power down the hill, you're going to start seeing this get even farther down. You're going to start seeing you know, that head and that chest 
get out over that that front foot a little bit more um, to deliver the ball closer. All right, and that's just a matter of just of just you know not using enough lower body, and you'll see by your finish, you know that foot just kind of stays on the ground and doesn't really kick up at all. We want to try to get so much power and torque that once we release that body falls through this this foot's just going to start driving up over that backside it's going to kick up over your head you know in, in this position you're going to see your your body maybe over here and you know your your foot you know straight up back over here so it's just like a you know you're almost a flat board instead of just kind of you know throwing and then finishing over that backside we want to try to have all our energy thrown so when we finish you know we're kind of almost going forward a little bit instead of as you finish you kind of see yourself kind of falling backwards and all that is is just, is just lower half all right so just the biggest thing is is just get to a point where you're feeling yourself able to drive your hips down the hill to to keep that knee closed longer all right so again so back backing up here you know here you 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 really stride really far open you know you you've seen yourself really plan open and all that does that just opens yourself up that loads the shoulder up with a little more load um, so we just want to make sure that you're here and this is what's leading down the hill all right this is what's leading not your leg all right so again in this position you're still going to see your leg closed off a little bit all right so just don't reach out with that left foot all right and this one another thing that that you're seeing here is try to fall try to sink this glove up with your front foot so try to have it kind of follow that front foot you never you see that it never really gets out in front of your body it kind of swings and then rotates over the side we want to try to get it out at foot strike especially at foot strike we want to try to get that glove out here all right and then you got a nice little angle in that elbow gloves below the elbow and then you start rotating out and that's going to help you get your head and your chest out over that front foot a little bit more so just lock that just let that glove kind of follow that front side a little bit let that glove get out there but we'd want to keep that that elbow above the glove until we rotate all right so that elbow stays above the glove then we start rotating down then you're going to start seeing that glove above the uh, above the elbow so just something to work on but but basically the biggest thing with you is hips is driving the hips down the hill farther down the hill staying closed longer and just really getting more dynamic in that lower half and using those legs I'm telling you, that's just that's just so key especially for you is just getting those legs closed driving that hip down the hill and not kind of rotating open like a door you know hinging open early so that's just uh, the biggest thing with you so hopefully you're able to to kind of work on that with with some drills and and just get a little bit more dynamic with it so you know j just one of the one of the good drills to do is is you come set and you hold you hold this position so you come balanced so you balance right in this position and then you're holding this position for like a two count then you just start with those hips just drive those hips down as far as you can this left leg is going to pop open on its own. You're, you're not going to have to do anything. It's going to naturally pop open and just kind of work on that and really feel yourself finishing out over that front foot. So anyways, hopefully you had a great time at camp. Thanks for coming out and I hope you're having an awesome season. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again with ABC.